Hi, today we're at the Towns County Recreational and Conference Center, and we're lucky enough to have the director, Stuart Nichols. Stuart, thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for coming. I've been amazed at what all you offer here, but more amazing is the price to residents. Yes, you cannot beat free. So if you're a <laughs> resident of Towns County, uh, it's absolutely free. Uh, the walk and track gym, weight room, uh, uh, tennis court, so all the different stuff that we'll right. talk about that we have to offer. And if you're a non-resident in the county, it's only $2 a day for the weight room, but the walk and track and the basketball courts are free for everyone. That's a deal. That's a that, great deal. That, another great reason to live in the mountains. <laughs> it is, yes it sir. Is. Now, I, I know the pickleball complex, mm -hmm. and then there's these baseball fields at false at, at the fairgrounds, we, fairgrounds. Have, we have three fields at the fairgrounds. Uh, we have a softball field here uh, at Foster Park, and we've got another baseball field uh, that we're pre preparing, getting ready. Um, it may be next year before uh, we get to use it, but we will have another field here that will primarily be used for the t-ball kids. And a flag football field. And, yes, and the, and the football field, which is used for flag football uh, currently. And uh, we're seeing what we can do about bringing back traditional football, but for right now, it's flag football. Right. And not only pickleball, but I did not know you had tennis courts hidden up on the side there. We do have tennis courts, and uh, again, it's uh, free, free to use. Come and play uh, tennis. Beautiful uh, up here on the mountain. Great view. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, use all the facilities, really. I mean, we have a great crew that uh, regularly use the weight room. Uh, some of the same people come in every day and play basketball. And, I mean, it's a, it's a community center, uh, but it's really a community uh, with the people here as well. Right. Now, besides all the facility uh, has to offer, you also offer different classes. I saw Zumba, devotion dancing. What, what are some of the classes you offer? Yes, well, you mentioned two of them, Zumba, um, uh, devotion dancing. We have aerobics and yoga. And then another one is a Balioflex. And a lot of people don't even know what that is, but uh, basically, like we're seated in chairs today, right. it's for people that can't stand for a long period of time and maybe have some mobility uh, issues. Um, most of it is seated and you just do different motions uh, to try to get some type of exercise, even if you can't run up and down right. a court. Now you told me a great success story with that, that I touched me. Tell me a little about the success of that program. Yeah, actually, so I was talking to the instructor yesterday and she was explaining how that one of the ladies that had been coming, um, had been using a cane to come into the class uh, and after um, a period of time, I don't know, a couple of months of coming to the class, uh, she's no longer using a cane. She's got enough flexibility and mobility to, uh, to put the cane down. So we, we love hearing stories like that. That's awesome. Now you have two basketball courts? Yes, sir. Uh, courts A and B. Uh, and they also double uh, as part of the uh, co conference center too. Right. Um, when we have large events come into the building, we, we put carpets down over the, the floors uh, to help protect the floors, and plus it just it makes it a little bit nicer right. room. And um, yeah, they'll, they'll fill both of these courts up with whatever's happening, whether it's a home and garden show, business showcase, uh, stuff like that. You mentioned we've had some high school graduations here. High school graduation, and actually next Saturday, a uh, week from tomorrow, we're having the prom in here. The wow. high school prom will be in here. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Always something going on. <laughs> they got you running. Constantly, yes, sir. Speaking of running, yes. tell me about your track. Yes, yeah, so we have an awesome track here. We have a lot of folks that use it. Uh, it's a tenth of a mile track, uh, which means 10 laps equals one mile. Uh, in the wintertime, it's nice because it's heated. In the summertime, it's nice because we have AC in here, right? Uh, in the spring and fall, we want people to get outside too, but the track's open all the time, so come and use it. What's nice is that it's being used. Tell me about your mile club or your running club. Or yeah, so uh, we started something called the Be Fit Walking Club. And basically the folks will come in and they will log, I call it log their laps. Uh, we have a book in the concession stand. And they just write down each day how many laps that they walk. And then at the end of the month, uh, we go in and add it up. And the man and the woman who ends up uh, getting the most laps, they get a free drink out of the concession stand. At the end of the year, uh, the, the male and female that's walked the most laps, we're going to give them a free t-shirt. But uh, in February, we did 400 miles wow. logged. Now, that's impressive in the fact of not everybody does that. 
uh, there's just a handful of folks that actually log their miles uh, or log their laps. Sure. I wish more would do it, but right. anyway, uh, so I know it's su substantially more than that, right. but uh, we had 400 in February and 380 something in, in March. So uh, there's a lot of walking going on. <laughs> Amazing. Now, how long have y'all been here? The building was built in 2000, uh, I think it was dedicated in December of 2013. Okay. So when you're down at the pickleball courts, you can see a beach. Can you tell me a little about your beach? I can. Uh, so uh, the beach is on Lake Chateau. Uh, again, like most everything here, it is free. And um, we also have the playground uh, at the beach area. Uh, we've got a peninsula that we've got uh, several benches around so that folks can come out and just sit and enjoy that beautiful view down Lake Chateau. Uh, the playground. Uh, has the the slides and the traditional things you would think of and we've actually got some new swings uh, that are coming in next week i hope uh, that will be ready for a memorial day weekend which is the traditional kickoff for the right. summer yeah now you told me something off camera when i got here that i was like wow yeah. you're sand on the beach so we don't have natural sand, right? So it's a lake, so we have to bring in the sand. And so each year we get uh, two truckloads and that's about 36 tons of sand uh, that we bring in and spread out. So it'll be nice and pretty to start the season uh, for folks to come and lay out on. Sugar beaches. Sugar beaches. In the mountains. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. When you're down at the beach, do you offer any type of concessions or refreshments? We do, we have a concession stand, uh, the Snack Shack it's actually called, and it'll be open daily uh, begin Memorial Day weekend, traditional kickoff of the summer through Labor Day. And so, yeah, if you're thirsty, you need a snack, something like that. Uh, I think they do, uh, we got some ice cream down there too on hot summer days. So yeah, absolutely. I can't imagine getting a big ice cream and sitting in one of those benches overlooking the lake. That's gorgeous area. It, it really is. It's, it's one of the best views in the county, uh, yeah. well, without a doubt. Yeah. And uh, so when we were planning uh, like where to to put the benches and to set right. those up um, basically my only instruction was was like you know we, w we want to see because really where you're at you've got basically two alleys or two right. lanes that you're looking straight down the lake and I was like let's just make sure that that however we're turned we're looking down those because th that is the view yeah it yeah. is gorgeous do you have any future plans we have several things in the works so one thing I do want to mention we are putting in a woods walking trail uh, behind the building here at Foster Park. Uh, it'll be about a half mile loop. Um, we will have a picnic area. Um, oh, wow. That's nice. Kind of at the end of that, uh, looking back over Lake Chatug. And eventually, uh, we're also uh, hoping to put a, a pavilion up here with some picnic tables as well. Because uh, we want as many people to see that view as, sure. as possible. Sure. It's fantastic. Um, as far as up anything else, I mean, we're we're actually getting ready to do pickleball uh, youth camp. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, you know, stuff like that. We've got another Zumba class fixing to start up hopefully in a month or so. Um, so we're always working on, on stuff. Um, I'm also looking to do an explorers club. I think we live in the most amazing place in the world. Right. <laughs> it, it, it really is. is. It's beautiful here. And I just know that a lot of times uh, some of the kids don't get an opportunity um, to maybe go visit some of the waterfalls or some of the overlooks right. and different things like that. And so um, we're going to, I'm going to call it the Explorers Club and we're just going to take some of the kids and see some of the waterfalls and just have some adventures uh, in our surrounding areas. And um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. So. That's awesome. That, that really is awesome. Yeah. Stuart, I really appreciate you having us out here today. I have learned so much and I hope our viewership has also. Well, I appreciate you coming. And again, uh, come out and visit us. We're open from eight to eight, Monday through Friday and nine to three on Saturday. Free, free, free uh, for county <laughs> residents uh, and $2 for the weight room if you're not a resident, but uh, still a pretty great deal. But again, thank you. for Awesome, coming. thank you.